Sound Belgian. Verboten. That means forbidden. guys behind us. Yeah? How do you know there's only one? That's all I saw when I crossed the tracks. I'm going to hit for that flag. He'll open up if you run. That's when you'll nail him. <laughs>
ammunition. Biddy, don't shoot. No ammunition. Throw your weapon out. Snell! Now come out with both your hands on your head. For Stanzi? I'm coming. Biddy, don't shoot. No rifle, no bullets. I'm coming. Gates. Good. Ich brechen ein Wissen, German. Das ich glaube, Sie werden bald wieder gesund. Oh, oh, wait, Wir oh, haben keinen oh, Doktor. Wait, wait. Ah. I don't speak it that good. I have attended school. Many of us speak English. I guess I'm lucky to be in one piece. Bitte? You could have killed me. I'm not a Nazi. You're no Nazi, I'm no soldier, and there's no war. There is a difference between a Nazi and a German. Then why don't you tell it to your friend Hitler here on the wall? It is forbidden not to have him in every home. Verstehen Sie verboten? Ja, ja, ich verstehe. You know, that used to be our shoulder patch till we switched to the Thunderbird. Verstehen Sie? No. The swastika. That's an old American Indian sign that Hitler caught from us. Believe it or not, the 45th Division used to wear the swastika right here. An American soldier wearing a swastika? Well, we had it long before little Adolf got the idea. Hey, let me see that. <laughs> who patched me up? Please. My, uh, my Verwunden, who dressed it? I did. Alone? Yeah. Oh, no. I've dressed wounded soldiers before. Oh, you a nurse? Nein. You should not feel embarrassed. What's so funny? Ja, fang ich das tut Ihnen weh vor lange. What? Uh, you will have to sit down, standing up. <laughs> well, that, well, that's what I get for being sandbagged in the rear. Sandbagged, what is that? Moxnicks. Hey, there's some cigarettes in my cartridge belt. Help yourself. What's your name? Helga Schiller. I'm Sergeant Brent. Aren't you going to save that for later? You people all over Europe always saving it for later. That's because they want a second cigarette. You know, the whole pack. How do you eat? My father forges food. Where? The countryside. There's no food out there. Franz finds some. He's a deserter, isn't he? Franz? He's only 15 years old. My brother has never killed anyone. Hitler youth? Yeah. And then he's old enough to kill. Did they ever put you in a concentration camp? 
I thought they put all you anti-Nazis in camps or killed them. My family lived on lies since 1933. What's that got to do with this? That was the year Germany was murdered by Unser Führer. But you all strung along with him while he was winning, didn't you? Yeah, we believed him until it was too late to learn. He was only interested in Hitler. Then why didn't you Germans open your big mouths when he started throwing people in the gas chambers? We are all guilty for not opening our big mouths. Silence! Should have let him bleed to death! Franz, head off! Get now, he's letting in the wall! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. He blames you for his arm. It was an American bomb, and to him, all Americans are responsible. That crazy little jerk slob will try to kill me. He has tried. I am not fighting you. Hitler is. <laughs> It was a bomb. Probably spotted across the track. Germans are moving through the village. How many? So many. Was soll ich tun? Sag mir, was soll ich tun? Hold it, hold it. That's ours. That's yours. being frightened. This is your sister? Yeah. Schiller. Fräulein Helga Schiller. Is that your name? He's, he's sick. He cannot defend himself. That is unfortunate for him. But the SS makes use of all people, even one-armed boys. Don't worry about them, Fräulein. Our infantry has driven them back, and our artillery will finish the job. I don't think we'll have to use your brother in this fight. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. You thank the SS for it. God has nothing to do with this. We're checking our roofs as an observation post for our guns. The buildings are much safer on the Hitler plants. Not high enough observation. Once we have secured this village, I advise you to stay away from those buildings. They're being mined in case the Americans counterattack. Sleep here. You must help me hide him, Franz. I get a bullet in our heads. You think I'm Franz, hurt? please. Please, I'm, I want... Come on, come on. Turn me in. They'll treat me as a prisoner of war. The SS do not take prisoners. Why didn't you tell him I was here? He would kill her. They must find him away from this house. All right, Schiller. Schiller. All right, Schiller. Come on, give me. All right, Schiller. Who's the woman in the double room? My mother. She, she is sick. Heart trouble. You give the Feldwebel a hand with equipment. Aber schnell! Wohl, Herr Ogleiden. About our um, sleeping arrangements. There are three others in my crew. Oh, wunderbar. Wir haben Platz für alle. Das ist sehr nett von Ihnen, Fräulein Schiller. Oh, arrangements can be made to please, Herr Oberleutnant. Sie werden es hier sehr bequem haben. Das ist gut. Our Franz sleeps there? Ja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are very courageous to remain here because of your mother. Oh, I'm sure you would have done the same thing. I turned my mother into the Gestapo. For treason.
Helga. Helga. Barbara. Have the Americans come yet? The SS are here. He keep his mouth shut? Yeah. They moving in? Yeah. I must find a place for you. Who can he see no for sticking? Who? What shall he do? I, I don't get it. Why are you sticking your neck out for me? I will show you there is a difference between a Nazi and a German. Give me a smoke first. Target, enemy infantry and tanks. Coordinates, 485-374. Mach's gut, Gerhard. Achtung, Stellung 58-65-85. Das muss sitzen. Was mögen die Soldaten hinter der Front dann sagen? Can you make Reisen schmarren? Oh, äh, natürlich. But, uh, well, I will need some sugar and raisins and... Uh... Oh, do not bother her, Leutnant. Um, they keep falling all the time. Oh, it's just no bother, Fräulein. In a few days, you'll have raisins and sugar. Oh, what? Well, Counter-attack is showing results. Our only headache is the American Air Force. But where is going and is looked to up it? <laughs> the overstuffed clothes horse has been banished. His SS right to the Himmler, who is now second in command. Oh, I was told that Himmler fled. What did you say? Well, I, I told them it was uh, a stupid lie, just enemy propaganda. Some soldiers. Wehrmacht? Yeah. Ah, oh, those Wehrmacht Schweine are as jealous of the SS as the stupid generals are jealous of Himmler. If the Gestapo were to repeat such a lie, they would wipe out your family. But I forget I heard it, Fräulein. And you will help me forget it. A little schnapps. Those rear echelon jumpers get here tonight. Hey, check those buildings in the square. They're booby trapped in mine. I'll mark them for the demo squad. Hey, you got a day. 
right there, Sergeant. But watch yourself. Brownings are verboten. Here, Buster. Chew yourself to death. Uh, there's nothing up there but old P gear. Come on, hit the road. Let's go. Go. Please take care of Fraulein Helga Schiller. She saved my life and hid me from the SS troops. She is a friend to all Americans. She and her family are not Nazis. Sergeant David Brandt, C Company, 157th Infantry, 45th Division. Danke schön. Danke, you sure? For the surgery. The AMG will take care of you. AMG? What is that? American military government. Oh, I haven't any traffic with them, but I understand they will bite your head off. This letter of recommendation ought to give them an idea that you're kosher. What if they do not believe it? What if they think you and I were Philippe? Philippe? Lovers. And that you only wrote it because... Well, well I... I've been thinking about that myself. Sergeant Brent, how I feel and what I can prove, well, they're not the same thing. As a child, I sang a horse vessel song, made brown shirts out of rags. I was raised on hate. But they would look into my record, never into me. And oh, well, you, you Don't feel you great worry, I... Helga. I won't let anything happen to you, even if I have to come back here and prove it myself. Thank you. But no American can help me. I heard what that soldier said. Power lines are forbidden. Well, Brad, I guess you're itching to get home like all the rest of us. No, sir, I, I want to stay on. What do you mean? I want to stay on here in Germany. But you were one of the highest point men in my regiment. Those with lower points are being redeployed to the States for action in the Pacific. Flying you home tomorrow. Oh, well, I know it sounds crazy, sir, but uh, you see, I got a girl here. Uh-huh. Well, uh, your parents wrote me about her. They seem to be up in arms over some Fraulein. Did you get her into trouble? Oh, no, sir, no. No, nothing like that. Well, Sergeant, all Fraulein's want to hook an American. A G.I. means chow, cigarettes, security. If you weren't an American, she'd want no part of you. I don't want to see one of my top riflemen get into a mess he can't shoot his way out of. I want to marry her, sir. She's a Nazi. Oh, look, Colonel, you know how many Nazis I killed. You think I'd want to marry one, have a kid by one? She saved my skin. Does that sound like a Nazi? You know the kind of education she's had. She's no different than any of the others. Oh, but she is different, sir. Sergeant, there's a little story making its rounds. This might help you to clear up some of the smoke. Seems they found Hitler dead with a piece of paper in his fist on which he had written, I was never a Nazi. <laughs>
Soldiers find sixty-five dollars for talking to a German. Sixty-five dollar question, huh? Means nothing to me. I told you I'd come back. What do you mean, come back? Oh, I'm going to stay around here. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Sorry? Well, that you did not have enough points to go back home. Oh, I had enough points. Here, see if these fit. You did not desert. And if I did? Well, then I would have to hide you again. This time from your own soldiers. Helga, yes, I'm a civilian. I got my discharge. From here on in, it's Mr. Brent. No, no, Herr Brent to you. Honey, my colonel came through for me. He got me a job as a civilian. Working for the army, you know where? Right here in Rothbach. I'm gonna work for the AMG, yeah. Handle food, sanitation, the works. Sort of a liaison between your burgomaster and the army. Helga, I, I got my discharge pay and now I can either spend it for my fair home or for our honeymoon. Honeymoon? Uh, uh, how, do you, uh, how do you say, uh, a flitter of Aachen? Well, that's all I could think about when I was in the hospital was you and me going down the Rhine River on our honeymoon. I even studied up on the Drachenfell ruins. The, the Mice Tower, the Bishop of Mainz, and the Lorelei. Okay, if you say no, then I'll go back to America, because I don't want any part of Germany without you. But there's no law saying a civilian can't marry a German. But it is forbidden, you know. Oh, holy smoke. Everything in your country is forbidden. Drinking forbidden, rauchen forbidden, Eintritt forbidden. Don't look, don't <laughs> listen, don't speak, don't see, don't... Yes, don't love. Well, look, uh, nobody can forbid us to love each other. That's the way we feel about it. And that's the way I feel about it. Nobody can put the kibosh on us. In your country of mine, nobody. Well, uh, it will not be easy for you being married to a German. Who cares? Who cares? So, so a few GIs will make wise cracks, and a few Germans will look. Uh... Oh, I, I love you, Helga. Will you marry me? Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Oh, yeah, I like it. Hey, watch it, watch it. There's a couple of American soldiers watching. Not me. Geography of my own village. Bruno. It's better if you learn swiftly. Your mother and father were in it. It was a direct hit. I'm sorry to have to tell you this way. Where is he buried? Oh, there are many still under the wounds, Bruno, all over Germany. I put flowers on the rubble last week. Danke. Ilse? How is Ilse? Let me make some coffee for you. American coffee. Yes? She's dead. How? 
She took her life. She thought the Russians were coming. Oh, Bruno, it's, it's been terrible. It's a nightmare. But we are still fortunate to have a roof. The others are living in the cellar like rats with no food, no warmth, no electricity. And that terrible thing that we face every day, that defeat. There's a difference in being occupied and defeated. If you're occupied, that is all. What are you talking about, Bruno? How is your mother? No. She's still alive? But she's on the borderline. She's been that way for months. In France? <laughs> he's out picking up cigarette butts. At the end of the week, he sells his treasure for pipe tobacco. Well, I see you waste no time. American food? Uh, how else are we to eat? For the first time. You're six. Has the advantage over mine. <laughs> to all Americans, forbidden food is tastier. Ah, yeah. No stupid. This non fraternization. Everywhere I go, all over Germany. I see Americans with Fräuleins. And the law is that love making is verboten. No, we call Fräuleins, Fräuleins, fraternizing. When an American soldier calls on a girl, they say he's, he's fighting. Bruno, well, whatever they call it, we have what they want. Yeah. Must be a repulsive for you. Has his American hands on your body. Perhaps your lips can keep him warm long enough to obtain a supply of food and cigarettes. He works for the military government in the food office. <laughs> my little Helga Schiller for you. Oh, there's a cleverest one in the Bund, what you mentioned, yeah? <laughs> it's good you weren't in the Blitz medals. Yeah, I would have had trouble being denazified. Will I go through that process? If you want to work. And if I am not cleared? Well, there are Nazis not bad enough to be thrown into jail and not good enough to be given the choice positions to put in the bucket brigade to clean up the bomb debris. Cheap labor. Oh, some of your friends, well, they bought certificates on the black market certifying they were fellow prisoners in the concentration camp. That's his temporary safety for Dunkos. I must have full clearance for his choice job. Well, then you will have to appear before the denazification court of Germans, and they will decide whether or not you are a member of the party. Only if a German doesn't like me, he can vote against me, huh? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. Yes, you have a character witness. Character. Perhaps your lover can help. Yeah, perhaps. This candy bar romance can lead to more things than just a passport to food. Helga. Mm hmm? Not lose your American gold mine. I'm going to marry my little gold mine. But how? Being a chocolate Romeo in secret is one thing, but marrying oh, is another. The law does not affect him. Is so important? He is a civilian. He is Herr Brent now. I am going to be Frau Brent, wife of an American. This is the American Forces Network, American Zone, Germany. Nazi plans for underground resistance against the United States Army of Occupation have been discovered in Munich with the arrest of three Hitler Youth members charged with subversive activity. They belong to an organization called the Werewolf. Meanwhile, at Nuremberg, Hermann Goering and 21 major war criminals will be charged with crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. Martin Bormann, still missing, will be tried in absentia. And now for some good news. Fushing will once more be celebrated. Going back as far as 1447, Fushing was suppressed by Hitler in 1938. Ah, Fashing, you will love it, Herr Brent. Well, what's it mean, Frau Brent? Well, it is, um, carnival time. You know, with, uh, with the masks and costumes and dancing. It is when a man romances a woman, not his wife, and a woman with a man, not her husband. Oh, that's out. That is out. I'm, I'm gonna not catch you fashing around with <laughs> some guy. Oh, well, I'm from a long line of jealous husbands. You come from a long line of wonderful husbands. Uh-huh. So kind. Jawohl. That's for? You're so right. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking of France. 
That artificial arm has changed his whole life. Well, it just goes to show what a couple of cartons of cigarettes can buy. He's so proud of it, he's shown it to everyone in the village. Look, the Lamargan Bridge. What is left of it? Yeah, I remember. I crossed it. Before the international military trial at Nuremberg, United States Chief Prosecutor Robert H. Jackson told the court that he not only is appearing as counsel for the Allied powers, but for the entire civilized world. He said, the real complaining party at your bar is civilization. The responsibility for the aggressive war was clear. Despite Hitler's supreme command over the Nazi party, the United States, Russia, France, and Great Britain claimed he was surrounded by men who knowingly carried out heinous crimes. The defendants in the dock claim they have never heard of wholesale murders, beatings, tortures, concentration camp gassings, genocidal eradication of whole communities, and the killings of surrendered allied soldiers. They claim ignorance of their campaign of arrogance, brutality, and annihilation such as the world has not witnessed since the pre-Christian ages. Go ahead, I'll double check as you read them off. Right. Yeah. That's it. You've got them all. What? No, no, no. We don't want jurisdiction over them. Denazification has got to be a German problem. Nobody knows a Nazi better than a German. Brent, give me that politician. Yes. The man's running for public office while being held in an internment camp as a major Nazi offender. The worst part of it is people are scared. They testify against the Nazi. They're called collaborators, informers, army lovers. AMG Rock by Captain Harvey. Huh? Huh? No, no, no. We don't want to convict the little fellows and let the big fish get away. Once that happens, every German will be fed up with the whole business of running down war criminals. What's the charge, Bruno? This man has stolen a food permit here, Captain. Where'd you get this food permit? I found it. Look at I to lay off the rest of Bruno. Forgive me, dear Captain. It's just that the sea is making me so angry, especially this sea. This food permit was issued to Dagobert Kollowitz and signed by me. This is Kollowitz. Is that you? He is Günther Dietrich. That's right, Herr Captain. Günther, Bruno and I served in the same infantry section. He was our demolition man, a mine sapper. Mine sapper? Can you defuse a bomb? Then for sending a captain, I'm not to be trusted. And we can't be choosy, Bruno. Not when two children and a farmer were killed last week stepping on mines. Not with that unexploded bomb of the Martin Luther plots. Your people are so desperate for a place to live, they've ignored all warnings about living near that bomb. There are hundreds of villages all over loaded with bombs and mines, and we're short of sappers. The militia men are as hard to find as food. But he's a Nazi. Show me a mind sapper who isn't. Herr Burgermeister. Yeah, Herr Captain. Put Gunther to work defusing the bomb. You mean the one under Martin Luther Platz? That's right. Give him all the help he needs. Yeah, come and with me. There's feel to do. Thank you, Herr Burgermeister. Relax, Bruno. We'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Just it. We, we are working so hard here, Captain, to build a new Germany. And well, men like Gunther are sworn enemies with him. We'll build a democracy here, even if it's with Nazi bricks. I do not understand you, Americans. Well, it's like being stuck in a gambling house. The loaded dice and marked cards. But if you trust any Hitler lover, you will lose. We know the wheel is fixed, but it's the only wheel in town. Come on, come on, you man. Hey, before I clap you, go. Me. Sir, I paid the $65 for fratting with this Fraulein. And look what this dirty crop did to her, just for talking to me. My father was killed fighting Americans. But he died for prostitutes like this who fraternize as you shrine on these Frau and O'Neill and this unfair. You're gonna stay in jail for as long as it takes to grow back her hair. Get him out of here, Bruno. Shall start back a coming. As for you, report to your company commander. I'll see you get a blast for laying a hand on a German no matter what he's done. Yes, sir. French. Yes, sir. French. Follow through on that supply system. We're close with the Burgermeister. We don't want a typhoid epidemic to hit us. What's the latest black market box score? Well, a pack of cigarettes still worth 10 bucks. A nickel candy bar, five bucks. A cake of soap, three bucks. A bottle of whiskey, 75 bucks. A watch, 200 bucks. And a camera, 1,000 bucks. Rest over 30 TIs in the radio. Illegal or illegal possession of arms or cigarettes. The few Germans will try them in their own court. Yes, sir. What's new on the run, Sergeant? It's hot stuff, sir.
See the pellets I get this. Yes, sir. Discharged? What would you do if you were in my place? I would discharge me, Herr Captain. He might try to contact you. That is American. What's that? That's possible. Would you turn him in? Would I protect a man who put my mother in a concentration camp and laughed when she died a raving maniac? Herr Captain, have I your permission to follow through with this? My beloved father, the great SS Colonel Hayden. He murdered my sister's husband because of some non Aryan strain. He placed my sister on a Hitler farm to bear children with strangers for the glory of the Third Reich. He murdered 71 American prisoners at Malmedy. He had such a magnificent record that Himmler picked him to organize the werewolf. Werewolf? I've heard that somewhere before. What is that, Eric? It's an army. A secret army founded by Himmler to carry on the war after Germany's defeat. An army of beardless delinquents. Carry on a war with what? Your people are having enough trouble finding enough to eat and a place to live. Every werewolf is a fanatic, David. They will find weapons, like the Nazi party did. I don't think you should lose any sleep over it, Eric. We've got over a million armed GIs in Germany. It's going to be tough to find a German stupid enough to join up with Hitler's pipe dream. Take one. For 20 cigarettes, you can get a woman. And for 2,000 cigarettes, a man will smuggle wanted Nazis out of the country. That is gold you are smoking. Do not forget it. I am Bruno Eckhart. What is your name? Helmut Strasser. Helmut Strasser. Cigarettes, clothing, jewelry, food, anything we can lay our hands on goes to help escape war criminals. War criminals? Now those Americans have me calling them that. And let them all be hung in Nuremberg. They left us in the lurch. What did you say? I'm only interested in my skin. This is good. But our main objective is not only to save their lives. Now you're talking. The job of the werewolf is to kill Americans until everyone is driven out of Germany. It's too late for Siegfried to kill the dragon, Bruno. I'm not interested in rescuing the, the Valkyrie Brunhilde under American guns. Are you a Nazi? Yeah. I'm a hungry, disillusioned, angry Nazi who knows when he's beaten. Then you should be angry enough to fight. I'm angry enough to have two wounds. The Iron Cross first class, the infantry assault medal, and the hand-to-hand -hand fighting class. I know what war is, and I'm sick of it. We all are. I didn't come here to join a, 
an army of beer muck pushers and sausage soldiers. I thought I was joining a band of black marketeers to steal and to loot so I could get food in my belly. That's what we're going to do. So why all this idiot talk about fighting with the Americans? With what? How? Hitler's system was a good idea badly carried out. If he failed, what do you expect to do with these beer and sausage kids? Heinz told me Bruno Eckhart was a smart organizer. Smart? You're stupid. This whole idea is stupid. Is it stupid for me to be a Pulitzer working with the American military government? Is it stupid, knowing how desperate they are for mine sappers, for me to maneuver the American captain to clear Gunther? That's fine. Let's take advantage of your position and fill our bellies and forget all this familiar nonsense about fighting. Well, no, you are. Your pack of cops here isn't big enough to frighten one American patrol. In 1919, Hitler was only one man. In 1920, 64 men. In 1942, he almost ruled the world. And he started as a pack that became the SS. And look at us now. Grow up, Bruno. The plan is to start small. The way he did. First with the squad, then a storm troop, then a brigade, and then an army. And how do you expect to do all this with the enemy in our hair 24 hours a day? The way Hitler did. We'll attract the hungry, the jobless, the godless, the, the, the vermin, the perverts, the angry ones. Ah, but Hitler didn't have a million armed American soldiers in his lap when he started. No. But if enough Americans are killed, their families will make Washington pull out the army of occupation.
democracy on empty stomachs? Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Germans! Germans are fighting over swill at garbage dumps! There's no hope for us unless we run our own government! Yay! Yeah! The armies don't want us to live again. They want us to die a slow and permanent death. Where is our food, Herr French? You eat every day! Your family eats every day! But what about us? What about our children? We want and they food! Hey! Hey! Promises! Always promises! Don't blame the Americans if you're hungry. Your own people took the food out of your mouths. Why don't you demonstrate against a werewolf? Why don't you let us run ourselves? Go home, army! We don't want any liberators! Liberators? We're not here as liberators. Now you get that straight, all of you. We're here as conquerors, and don't you forget it. We could have pulled a Nazi job after we won and mistreated you like you mistreated everyone else. No food, no medicine, no clothes, nothing. We could have set up a Nazi state, but we didn't. Instead, the United States is spending hundreds of millions of dollars feeding Germans. Ah, money. Always talk of how much money you're spending on us. But you're not turning any of it down, are you? You call it dirty capitalistic money, but you're taking every penny of it. Instead of treating you like a bunch of animals, we give you a blood transfusion. If your stomachs are empty, it's because dirty Nazi rabble-rousers are trying to work up another Hitler on your hands. Now break it up. Move out! Go to hell, you dirty Americana! people will condemn all of us because of the werewolf. Soon, all of us will be Nazis to the Americans. We know the middle-aged and elderly are not giving us the trouble, Herr Burgermeister. The Hitler Jugend. The Hitler Jugend is behind every single act of violence. In my country, they're called juvenile delinquents. The same disease all over the world. Without families or from broken ones, they travel in wolf packs, operate like gangs. Individually, they're all chicken inside, frightened little cowards who attack at night. But get one of them alone, they run like a rat. Herr Captain, with your permission, we middle-aged and elderly ones would like to form a lunch room. It may be like your American posse. We could police the Autobahn, the Bahnhof, the gases. We're all for it. The more you can get into your lunch room, the better we like it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your faith in us. Good night. How's your head? Uh, well, I, uh, I feel a lot better than I look. <laughs> Hilga, she blew her stack today when I came to work. Captain, if you don't mind, I, I will knock off. I'll finish these graphs tomorrow. Wait a minute, David. I, uh, I hate to lower the boom at a time like this, but it's an order. I'm chopped? Well, I... Knew when I clobbered that soapbox meathead that I'd stepped on the Army's toes. No, it's not only that. Sure, you assumed military authority, started a riot, but I covered you on that. Then why am I fired? Temporary. You're suspended until the whole case is investigated. Well, how long do you think I'll be out of work? I don't know. Maybe weeks, maybe months. But if you come out clean, you'll get all your back pay. It looks to me like the Army's favoring the Krauts over me. No, no, no. The Army's bending way back not to give the werewolf anything else to throw at hungry Germans. Hungry people are easy to bamboozle. 
And you think giving me the axe is going to stop the rioting and the looting? It's not what I think. The army's dropping all civilians in the zone and replacing them with Germans. That'll give the subversives less ammunition to stir up trouble. I never thought I'd be fired for a German. You should consider yourself lucky you came out of that beef the way you did. If Bruno hadn't blocked those blows, you'd yeah, have been kicked yeah, to I, death. I know, Captain, but what happens to me now? Well, if, if you haven't got fare back home, I'll stake you. You mean pull out? A hungry American in the German breadlines won't help the situation. But I'll get a job. I'm... Well, the Germans can't even find work. No German will hire you. But I got a wife here. That's why it's better to send her money from back in the States. She is pregnant. Look, Captain, I am sticking until I get an okay to take my wife and baby back to America. Holy smoke, uh, this is no time to be talking about leaving her. No XGI in my command is gonna sweat out a food permit. Well, it's not verboten for an American civilian to live here, is it? Now, you answer me yes or no. Am I under military supervision right now? Everybody is. Nobody makes me leave my wife. Nobody. As long as I keep my nose clean, I don't want anybody butting into my life. I'm not asking any favors from the Army. Now, just lay off me. David? David? Sorry, David. Right. Right. See if I can help? I'll manage. I hate to see such a good fellow like you make a mistake. Mistake? She is not Versa, David. You talk like you got kicked in the head. You're a good fellow. Yeah, well, you said that. It is stupid for you to give up your country for a, for a woman like Helga. What did you say? It's out the job, David. She will want no part of you. She told me. She would have lived with any American. But as long as you were stupid enough to want it legal, she married you! She only married you for food, David. Can't you see she's like all the other Nazi friends? Ask her why she called you her American gold mine! No, I haven't found him yet. My mother saw this happen after the last war. One push will follow another. Well, I'm going to watch this one from the sideline. I do not understand. Well, tomorrow I'm going to get my food permit from the captain. Food permit? Oh, Liebchen. Why should you need a food permit? Because <sighs> I was fired. It's only temporary, but a German's going to hold down my job. Isn't that a switch? There's plenty of work. I can repair bridges or roads. I'll get a job even if it's on the bucket brigade. An American in a bucket brigade? What's the difference as long as it's a job? Oh, but there must be something Captain Harvey can find for you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Me and the Army officially kaput. They want me to go home. But food, where will it come from? I told you I'll get a permit and stamps. It cannot exist on such rations. I know, but the extra money will take care yeah, of it. The Germans will not give you work. Not with so many of us jobless, not even on the bucket brigade. Well, why are you getting so upset? Well, I'm not the first guy to be fired. You are the first American to be fired in Germany. There's no place here for a foreigner without work. Hilda, you talk like you want me to go home. I don't care what I sound like. I'm only telling you what is facing you. Wait, let's just sit down here a second. Let's get one thing straight. You mean with the baby coming, you don't care if I go back to America now? At least there you will find work. Then you can take care of us until it is permitted to send for us. David, you will starve here. You mean we'll starve? Isn't that what you're driving at? I'm no good anymore. No I got no job. What do you say? I'm no use to you anymore. That's what I'm saying. Get rid of me and get yourself a German with a job. That's what I'm saying. David! Why did you marry me? What is the matter with you? Why, why are you talking like this? What I say is for your own health, your own Look, pride. Look, did you ever call me an American gold mine? 
Did you? Why did you marry me, Hilga? I love you. You never told me that. From the minute I asked you to marry me, you never told me you, you love me. You want words? You want to hear it? I love you. I love you. Is that what you want? David, my feelings for you are much bigger than I'm so filled with I was with an old ticket that came along at the right time. Nine. You would have lived with any American. Especially one that works in a food office. Oh, what a chance. No wonder you married me. So no other fraud line could hook me. Deny that. Deny it. Could I have loved you then? I didn't know you. Of course I married you for food. What else could I do? We were frightened and hungry. But that was before, David. I swear it. Now. Now it is different. Now I love you. Now it's easy to say because it's out in the open. Now it is important that you believe I me. I don't believe you. I couldn't believe you no matter what you tell me. You know why? Because I'm up to my neck in double crosses in this damn country. I don't blame you for wanting to get rid of me. Just another mouth to feed. Oh, no, David, please, you Look, what kind of animal do you breed here, Elga? How could you go on living with me when you hated me so much? How could you want my baby when... You're lower than a streetwalker. At least when they take you, you know it. It's not a dirty little Nazi scheme to make a sucker out of an American. Now that I'm no longer the feedback, it's, it's go home, David. Send money from America, David. Send for us, David. Well, I don't want any part of you. Oh, I'll see you get chow. I'll become the best pack rat in this town. I'll keep feeding you while you carry my baby, but the minute it's born, I'm going to take it back to America. Because no kid of mine's going to grow up becoming another Nazi. Nobody's going to stop me from taking it. You just give birth to my kid, and I don't give a damn what happens to you. We should have dropped that bomb right here and wiped out all you Nazis. Tell him this is the new list of relay points smuggling wanted SS out of Germany. Colonel Hayden going to Egypt? Yeah, the other two generals are going to South America. There will be a truck waiting to take Colonel Hayden to the farmhouse. A potato cart has been arranged to relay him to point four. There's a change of clothes for him in that box. I'll see to it that he gets his money. Put this list away. Franz? Yeah. The boxcar is getting too small for meetings. From now on, we will meet behind the Bahnhof. Yeah. What went wrong? Did you get the shipment? Yeah. It's already on the black market run in Berlin and Frankfurt. Look sick. I am sick. Why didn't you tell me what was in those supplies? What's the difference? Oh, no, I've killed and stolen and done everything to stir up revolt against the armies. But medicine is different. One can go without food for hours, but medicine means life or death in a matter of minutes. I'm not interested in a lecture. But that medicine was for our own people. Hundreds of sick Germans will die. Lots of people will die. But these are Germans! To hell with them. What did you say? I said to hell with them! That's the second time I've had to live through that statement. First was Adolf Hitler. And now with you. Get me a piece of coal, Franz. The view of Alon. The right to rule Germany. This is a military court martial. And I find you guilty of treason. The enemy is to work for us. 
And so far as we do not need them, they must die. Hit the bullseye with a knife, Gunther. They're sick, they need medicine. They're sick, they need medicine. Sick, they need medicine. Sick, they need medicine. They're sick, they need medicine. They're sick, they need medicine. They're sick, they need medicine. What medicine? They... Oh. It was just a bad dream. Oh, now, what is this about medicine? I told you it was a bad dream. But why haven't you wanted to ask now? I, I found them. Who is the leader of these hoodlums? Who are you to call us hoodlums? By looting, killing, stealing food from our own people and selling it on the black market, what would you say they are? They are for Hitler. Oh, Franz, the first to suffer under Hitler were the Germans. That's a lie. The first to be thrown in concentration camps were anti-Nazi Germans. He only put the Jews there, the Jews and Poles and all the enemies who started the war against us. He killed German Catholics, German Protestants. You're a liar. He killed German Lutherans, German priests, German old men, German old women, German cripples, German sick, German insane. He's German right. You have sold out to the enemy. Who is right? Tell me, Franz, who told you I sold out to the enemy? If I can prove to you what the Nazis did, would you believe me? You'll show me nothing but lies. You're afraid? A werewolf is never afraid. If I am wrong, I will help you fight the Americans. You will, you promise? I swear it. International Military Tribunal Number 1. The United States of America, the French Republic, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic against the defendants, Hermann Wilhelm Goering, Rudolf Hest, Joachim von Rippentrop, Julius Stryker, Franz von Poppen, Jalmar Schack, Karl Dönitz, Eric Rader, Baldur von Schirach, Fritz Sokol, Alfred Yodel, Martin Borman, Arthur Sessinquart, Albert Speer, Konstantin von Neurath, and Hans Fritschi, individually and as members of any of the following groups or organizations to which they respectively belong, the Reich Cabinet, the Leadership Corps of the Nazi Party, the SS, the SD, the Gestapo, the SA, and the General Staff and High Command of the German Armed Forces. Justice Robert H. Jackson, the Chief American Prosecutor, makes the opening statement for the prosecution. The privilege of opening the first trial in history for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. In the prisoner's dock sit 20 odd broken men, reproached by the humiliation by those they have led, almost as bitterly by the desolation of those they have attacked. What makes this inquest significant is that these prisoners represent sinister influences that will lurk in the world long after their bodies have returned to dust. They are the living symbols of arrogance, cruelty, power, racial hatred, terrorism, and violence. The United States of America presents count one of the indictment that all defendants participated as organizers or accomplices in a common plan or conspiracy to commit crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. We will show you the defendant's own film. You will see their own conduct in the course of the conspiracy. Its history is the history of the Nazi party that grew from the brawling streets of Munich in the 20s. Their aim was the highest degree of control over the German community. Give me five years. Today, Germany. Tomorrow, the world. The Nazi party alone has the right to rule Germany and the right to destroy the enemy. The werewolf alone has a right to rule Germany and a right to destroy the enemy. 
Martin Borman, last seen alive May 2nd, 1945, fate unknown, tried in absentia, said, the enemy is to work for us, and so far as we don't need them, they must die. The enemy is to work for us, and so far as we do not need them, they must die. German anti-Nazis were the first victim. Medical experiments were standard procedure at many concentration camps for Germans who did not agree with Hitler. Defendant Frick, as Minister of the Interior, directed the Nazi program named as aged, insane, crippled, or incurable Germans, the so-called useless eaters. Thousands were committed to special institutions. Few of the German anti-Nazis ever returned. Evidence proved they were murdered because they were useless to Hitler's plan. A most intense drive was directed by Hitler and his Nazis against German Protestants, Lutherans, Catholics. Pastor Niemöller was sent to a concentration camp. Bishop Graeber was beaten up. Hitler inspired vandalism against church property. Nazi teaching was inconsistent with the Christian faith. It was the Nazi plan to suppress the Christian church completely after the war. The old Christian era lasted but 2,000 years and is a failure. But with the war, the number of victims swelled to include citizens of all the nations in Europe. Included among the executed and burned were citizens from Holland, France, Belgium, Poland, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Greece, and other countries. But perhaps the greatest crime against humanity the Nazis committed was against the Jews, whom they used as the scapegoat to camouflage their plan to make Hitler God and to make Mein Kampf the Bible. Goebbels was Hitler's trumpet. Goebbels catered to children, filled them with campaign cries that went to the heart of the Nazi movement. Hate was the Nazi religion. Hate was their battle cry. Hate was their God. Hate! Hate! And again, hate! Children of tender years were invariably exterminated since they were unable to work. The Nazis endeavored to fool them into thinking they were going through a delousing process. A thousand years will pass and this guilt of the Hitler gang will still not be erased. It took from three to 15 minutes to kill the people in the gas chamber, depending on the climatic conditions. The Nazis knew when the people were dead because the screaming stopped. After the bodies were removed, special Hitler commandos took off the rings and extracted the gold from the teeth of the corpses. Much of this loot was then transferred to secret vaults of the Reichsbank at Frankfurt on Main. This was genocide, the premeditated destruction of entire peoples. Genocide, the direct result of the Nazis' claim that they have the right to destroy Hitler's opposition. Tomorrow the world, dead or alive. <laughs> We should see. Everyone should see. The whole world should see. Hans, believe it, did you? Hans, look. Oh. Oh. She who? Helga. What's she got to do with this? She took me to Nuremberg today. I saw the trials. She took you to the trials? Yeah. You saw Gary? I saw Gary. I saw film. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. What time are they meeting behind the Bonhoeff? In 30 minutes. You go straight home. I'll meet you there. Hello? What are you 
Germans to the police are in charge of the Fox Car Command post on siding on Leopold's shots and the second of the Bandits. All available men in the area will participate in the Bonhoeff Range. Patrol A has been reinforced. Patrol B is thrown a roadblock to point 23. That's a report, Captain. No, 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 no. Mentions in. What is it about? What is it about? Sicher sie alle Polizeistationen in die Himmelgasse. Nicht angreifen, bis Captain Harvey und die amerikanische Polizei mit ihnen hinter den Ruf. the same thing. So how did you know I would need that list for tonight's meeting? Good to sent me for it. That's fine, Franz. Give it to me. I just left Kunta behind the Bahnhof. Where are you going with that list? I know it. the army for a raise. Even in the army, you know? <laughs> the officer was just coached. Fire! 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 F